Well, the Parker Solar Probe was launched back in 2018 with the aim of helping scientists to better understand how the sun works. But this was its most significant mission so far, flying into the sun's outer atmosphere, getting to around six million kilometres from the solar surface. That is uh, the closest approach that has ever been made by a human made object. Now that happened earlier this week on Christmas Eve US time, but it was a fairly anxious wait for those teams at NASA as they had anticipated. They lost contact with the spacecraft for a period of time. Once that approach had happened, they have now confirmed though that they have received a signal indicating that it is operating normally. Now there's an Australian element to all of this because those teams in the US state of Maryland received that signal through NASA's Deep Space Network Complex in Canberra, a facility that assists and provides support to these sorts of deep space missions. So uh, they are hoping that they can use the data that has been collected by this probe to get a better understanding of why the sun's uh, outer atmosphere is so hot. Uh, they're also trying to learn more about the origins of solar winds. There is another wait ahead of those scientists though. Uh, it's going to be at least another few days before that data from the probe becomes available.